we met up with some subscribers mm -hmm. and they well he works at NASA yes she's retired NASA and we went on the tour the Johnson Space Center tour yeah. they worked at the health clinic yeah so they hooked us up with like a behind the scenes tour of the neutral buoyancy lab that's where the, the actual astronauts get in the water they're underwater training to train under weightless conditions for hours for hours like six, six hours, hours a day. day they'll be underwater but that's not part of the tour anymore no and we heard years and years and years ago it used to be well not part of the tour but you could they would sometimes invite the public to be able yeah. to see it and then the space center could let people go over but they haven't offered it in a very very long time they don't do that anymore no but guess who's going to get to see it <laughs> ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and yeah. probably, probably you yeah. ha. well we can record some things we we, we heard there's uh, a particular yeah. uh tool that cannot be filmed yeah they have a piece of equipment that, that they've asked us not to record i'm sure they'll give us all of the details when we get there um but so because this is the coolest part we're gonna do this part first on the video we're gonna show you the behind the scenes cool stuff you stick around later in the video you'll see all the regular yes, what so. the regular people get to see your <laughs> basic Tour. <laughs> yeah, it's your it's your basic it's your basic Johnson Space Center tour. So if you want to see that, you know you can, you can watch the rest of the video, or you could just like watch any other basic video. <laughs> but on this video, you're gonna get to go behind the scenes at NASA. Yes. like I can't even I like ranks up there with I the mean it's, funeral yeah museum. I was just getting ready to say like <laughs> just when we think we, we find something that's like the best thing we've ever done yeah. we go to something that's like a, tops it yeah this was crazy we um, man we cannot say thank you enough to our friends who yeah. uh, hooked us up with that tour yeah Bill um, and Pam. yeah that, that I, insane. I it and was, not it, just anybody can go. No, it's not. I mean, we were really, um, there was like some corporate groups there. Yeah. I think, but I think like just 
Regular people who know folks. people. I think we were the only ones there with like a, our own, own guide. guide. Yeah. There is an exact replica, and I, I when I mean exact replica, <laughs> I mean exact replica of the International Space Station, Station. underwater. Yeah. In this pool. <laughs> it is insane. And the pool's 40 feet deep. That's deep. Yeah. If something goes wrong at the International it's Space Station, or they need to fix something at the International Space Station, well, they can only use what the astronauts at the International Space Station have yep. at their disposal. Yes. So they'll take those tools, they'll get into the pool, the pool, and they'll try to figure out a solution for that issue. To pass on to the actual ones in space. Yeah. But what was really cool is, like I said, we got to meet one of the astronauts. We got to take our picture with them. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen that, it's up on our Facebook or our uh, other social media platforms. I'll probably throw up a picture on here too while we're talking about it. Um, Lots of stories. Sure. We were we were expecting to to see the Johnson Space Center and and NASA stuff when we came here. Mm -hmm. We had no idea we were gonna see something this cool. No, it was cool. <laughs> no idea. That was really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to put into words how how to say thank you enough to yeah to Pam and to Bill yeah. for for so once in a hooking us up. Opportunity. So. That was cool. Yeah. We're going to take him to dinner this weekend for that. <laughs> Say thank you. That's not even close to being yeah. fair or equal. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't even out, but we're going to take him to dinner anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today we're at the Houston Space Center. We're actually in Galveston. We're staying in Galveston. Yeah. We didn't do this Houston Space Center when we were in Houston because our RV park in Galveston is closer. closer. Yeah. So we're staying in Galveston. Back in Houston to see the Houston Space Center. <laughs> yeah. What are you hoping to see today? Lots of cool stuff. Yeah, space stuff. Space stuff. <laughs> space rocks and rocket ships and. And hoping that because I've been to Kennedy growing up as a kid and we went to Huntsville. Yeah, the Space and Rocket Center was our first stop, stop. ever full time yeah. RVing. So I'm hoping that things don't get repetitive. I hope like each NASA spot has new stuff. Their own uniqueness. I mean, yeah. some stuff is going to be repetitive, yeah. but some stuff. At least be different so you don't feel like you're seeing the same stuff over and over yeah and huntsville had had a space shuttle like this but not on top of an airplane not on top of the ferry which plane. leads me to some questions okay no doubt. so if you got this aircraft it's hauling a shuttle i didn't read on how much it weighs a lot so why does my bag cost 25 extra dollars for weight <laughs> it doesn't weigh as much as a shuttle <laughs> you can carry a shuttle but I can't carry an extra bag. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a rip to me. But um, no, I, I I think it's gonna be fun. I'm just hoping to maybe catch a glimpse of Uranus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You're not gonna catch a glimpse. <laughs> You're definitely not. I just like coming to space stuff. <laughs> just so I have a reason to say Uranus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not that you need one, but it helps. <laughs> yeah, so let's go explore and maybe we'll bump into Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. The Lunar Laboratory. <laughs> I wonder, if, wonder if they have samples of Uranus. <laughs>
are still in Galveston, Texas, and today we're at the Ocean Star Offshore Oil Rig Drilling Museum. Yes. So we can learn about all about oil drilling and rigging. Or drilling. I don't know if it's going to be interesting or not. This it's cool out here because you got the big uh, cruise ship out here. You got the offshore oil rigs over here. Yep. And I think the one behind us, it may have used to have been used at one time, but I think now yeah. it's just a museum. It's, so yeah. uh, we're going to go check that out. We'll take you with us. Come on. Right now we're on the pipe deck. So this is where they used to keep like the miles and miles of, of oil piping that they would use to drill down into the, the ocean. Now this rig, I, they said about how far down this one could could drill, but I don't, I don't remember. It was like several thousand feet. This particular rig is meant to go 25,000. Yeah, 25,000 feet. And that's just to the surface of the seafloor. It actually drills further down. But that's the depth of water that this vessel could in. And I didn't even know they were vessels. <laughs> I didn't know they could move. I thought they like built these things. I on. didn't know they were mobile either. Well, there are some that they build in, on site, but this one, this one moved. Most are manufactured and then towed out to where they need to yeah. go. But I had no idea they moved around. I thought they were just like, boom, they're there, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and, uh, yeah I didn't know they new. could lift the pads and yeah. go somewhere else. Crazy. So right now there's no piping on the pipe deck. They have you know different kind of displays and stuff. But this is where, like if you see the movie Deepwater Horizon, you see the big racks with just piping and stuff that they kept drilling down into the yeah, ground with. That's this would be the area that they would be would have been working on to hooking those pipes up, drilling them down, yeah. and all that cool stuff. Let's see some more stuff. There's some drill pipe. So they do have a couple of pieces of pipe on the <laughs> pipe deck. Well, finally got a shirt with a picture of Uranus on it. Oh, no. Huh? Uh, no. I had no idea Uranus had rings. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Don't say it anymore. Uranus has rings. <laughs> you might want to work on that. We'll take a brief intermission mm -hmm. while Leslie finishes <laughs> laughing. <laughs> what does it say? I don't know what it says. The original gas giant. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get Uranus shirts. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, as you have already seen, we went to the Johnson Space Center mm -hmm. in Houston or all the cool NASA stuff is. We've already talked about the yeah. neutral buoyancy lab, which was just awesome. That was so cool. And thanks again, Bill and Pam, for hooking yeah. us up with that, because once in a lifetime opportunity. But we did go over to the Johnson Space Center and uh, hung out with Greg and Shelly yeah. from Dave's Great Adventure, and uh, went through, that's a really cool place. Yeah, that what was you, so much fun. What was your favorite part of that? I liked, yeah. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna say what you want me to say. I liked <laughs> going into the plane that transports the shuttle. That was pretty cool. That was different. Yeah, you can actually go into the shuttle part. Part, yeah. And then you go down inside the air, airplane part. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. I like that. And um, my favorite part, I think, was going into like Apollo mission control. Yeah. That was yeah, cool. that so was cool. The place where all the Apollo missions were, were run was, was right there, uh, including the first uh, moonwalk, mm -hmm. um, first landing on the moon, all the issues with Apollo 13, 
Um, so all that stuff took yeah. place right there. That was so that crazy. was pretty cool to see. Mm -hmm. And then what we haven't talked about yet, uh, but we showed, uh, is the uh, the offshore oil oh, yeah. drilling rig, mm -hmm. which was awesome. Um, the Ocean Star? Yeah, the Ocean Star. But yeah. It's not, uh, it's not a long tour. No. I mean, it's self-guided. You walk through there. Probably not super exciting for kids, but for adults, it's pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. So if you ever want I found it. Yeah, if you wonder what a offshore oil rig looks like on the inside, um, they have you know, displays of what it looked like for those who lived there yeah. and worked there. Yeah. Um, the different types of oil rigs. Yeah, because there's a bunch of different kinds. Yeah. And then they had like skate pods. They had you know the history of it. The uh, the um, just the science behind it. Yeah. So all that cool stuff was was pretty. And cool. The money that yeah. it takes to make those things happen is insane. Yeah. <laughs> and then they had like artifacts of things that were actually used in oil rigs and the tribute to uh, Deepwater Horizon. Yeah. yeah. And one of the litters that was actually used He's, in yeah. rescue. That, that was, was the deep water horizon. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. You see movies and then you like, well, they you know. They glorify, you yeah. always assume. So it's kind of like when you see the movies, at the NASA stuff, and then you go get to see it. And then we saw, you know, deep water horizon. Yeah. And you get to go see the oil, real deal oil rig yeah. stuff. So that was cool. Um, and we went down and hung out on the Kima boardwalk. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Which was awesome. Mm -hmm. We didn't do a lot you down fun. there. Just hung out and like, yeah, we didn't, watch like, people. Yeah, we didn't ride all the rides. No. Yeah. There's a bunch of rides down there you can ride. You can go up on the little sky lift, and there's a bunch of roller coasters and yeah. stuff. Um, they also have a, a lot of restaurants. Pleasure Pier out on Galveston Island, yes. which we drove past. Um, it has didn't rides really go too, into it because we went during the week and they weren't really doing anything mm -hmm. there. We went back on the weekend. They were doing stuff, but the weather wasn't it was great. Not a great day to so be on the boardwalk. Didn't get to do that. We'll have to do that yeah. when we come back through. But it looked like a pretty cool little place. Yeah. And the Kima Boardwalk is cool. It had like a hotel. Right there next to shopping, a bunch of yeah, restaurants, shopping. everything. Yeah, it had a Dak Shack. Dak Shack. We can get daiquiris. Walk up, get yeah. <laughs> Walk up, get a daiquiri. And That's uh, my kind of shack. they got the aquarium uh, restaurant Fresh out there where yeah. you can sit inside and watch the fish and all that cool stuff. Yeah. And then we went to, to visit some more folks out on Galveston Island yep. the other day. Uh, some of our new friends, the VR campers, Rick and Von Seal. I hope I'm saying her name right, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, part of the the whole fun of the Houston Galveston area was just all the people the we got people, to hang out with. Yeah. yeah, we got to meet so many people and hang out. It was and, hard to say goodbye. Yeah, past acquaintances and friends, and new acquaintances and friends, and yeah, like you said, when you visit them for so long, like we hung out with Bill and Pam for two days. Yeah, and so when you leave, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna miss them. Yeah, they're not coming yeah. with us. <laughs> So we're on to Beaumont. Beaumont's our last stop in Texas. We'll finally be getting out of Texas here in a couple yeah. weeks. And uh, kind of spent all winter down here and be crazy. just had a bunch of fun down here. Yeah. Let us know what you think about the Uranus shirts. <laughs> I like it. I know you do. <laughs> it's the topic. I mean, it's it's this conversation starter. Mm, yeah. I need a little button that says, ask, ask me, me about, about Uranus. <laughs> No. No, you don't. <laughs> Lord, help me. No, you don't. Because I could go all day. I know you could. <laughs> you try. <laughs> well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. Hope you had a good time in Galveston and Houston like we did. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.